diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis in 2014. When I was first diagnosed, it came as a result of um, a long, I guess six months period of uh, pain in my hands, my knees, very fatigued, and um, it just felt like I couldn't function. And so uh, my rheumatologist did uh, lots of blood work, also x-rays, did sonograms of my hands, um, feet, we did all kinds of stuff. And it all came back, yes, in fact, I did have rheumatoid arthritis. My rheumatologist has ordered the Vector DA for me three times. He'll order it so we get an accurate picture of how my body is responding to the disease today. When I initially went to the rheumatologist, my level was in the moderate range on the Vector DA, and it was a 36. The next time I had a Vector DA test, my score went up from a 36 to a 53, even while on rheumatoid medications. So obviously I was still reacting to the disease and those medications were not modifying it at all like they were supposed to. My latest Vector DA test that I got, my score has gone down. And so um, it went from a 53 overall down to a 47. When I get my results of my Vector DA test, um, I, I like because you get multiple pages. There's gonna be an overall score that you see on the front. And so it makes me see, okay, this particular thing is an area where my body's really reacting right now. So even though I don't understand all the science behind it, it validates, hey, I am feeling better. I have on my phone a My RA app, and I love it because I can keep track of symptoms day to day because it changes day to day. And so keeping track of my symptoms um, on this app, and then you can get a synopsis of, hey, over the past 30 days, this is how I actually was doing. When I was first diagnosed, I felt really alone, and I didn't know anybody else my age that had rheumatoid arthritis. And so I started looking around online, and I found a lot of um, social networks where people would, um, you know, correspond back and forth. And so then, I kind of got in that circle and I started to realize, oh hey, there are some people around my area. And I've met people with similar interests that like to do crafts or they like to make cards. And so if you can find other people that have rheumatoid arthritis or other rheumatoid type diseases, um, it does help to bond a little bit. You actually make a friend and uh, that, that makes life easier.